Hi everyone, it's Nat here. Hope you're all doing well. So I'm hauled up in my craft room with the heater going. It's um, been spring, it gets quite cold here in the afternoons and evenings, in the mornings. So, um, now I put up the other day my first secondhand Sunday video where I showed the goodies that I got in the past week, um, secondhand wise. And in that I showed these fabrics that I picked up from a garage sale. So, um, a lovely lady watched the video, um, hi Beth, <laughs> and suggested that we make something with the things we find each week, which is a really good idea and it's something I've been thinking about doing since I started showing my secondhand goodies, um, but I haven't done because I don't tend to pre-make a lot of stuff for my journals because I find the things that I've pre-made don't fit into the journals I'm making. I'm better off making um, embellishments as I go. But it is always nice to have a whole lot of stuff on hand and I'm just going to have to make a whole heap of ecle really eclectic journals, even though mine are quite eclectic. <laughs> Some more colourful and eclectic ones in the future. So I thought... I would do what was suggested and try and start making something each week out of um, my secondhand finds for that week. And maybe if I don't find, you know, if there are weeks where I don't get secondhand goodies, maybe I can continue on with some of the goodies that I got the week before or something. So I thought tonight, because I'm surrounded by so much junk from all the projects that I'm doing at the moment, that I'd start with something simple and do some scrappy embellishments. So that's what I grab this type of fabric for, mainly is for scrappies, fabric flips and that sort of thing. So I might just go through and pick out a few that I might like to use. I might steer clear of the black and the grey and leave the pink out. I'll leave that one. Some of this blue don't want to unfold all of it because I spent so long folding it all up the other day. I think I'll put these to the side. So I hope you're all fit and healthy whatever you're doing. I've been out in the garden today. Finally it stopped raining enough for me to get out the last two days and just do um, a little bit of weeding. I'm not able to do much at the moment but um, yeah I've been able to get out and do a little bit which feels great getting out in the sunshine. It's amazing too, I weeded a um, patch that was about a metre square and I found two asparagus plants that have some um, asparagus shoots coming up and oh, I don't know how many flat leaf parsley plants and some garlic chives just in that metre. It's amazing what lives under the weeds. <laughs> so I was very thankful for that. I was thinking once I weed all I'm going to have is just bare dirt but no, there's some stuff there. All right, I think I am happy. Did I grab some of that? I don't even know if I want to use it. I don't know what I am doing. Here's some smaller bits. I'd rather use smaller bits. Okay. So let's see what we can do with some of this. So there's going to be some bright ones by the look, but that's okay. I'll grab my scissors. And I might just start ripping some bits up. Oops, I should turn my, um, I've got subwoofer speakers hooked up to my computer and when I get notifications, you definitely hear them. So that's gonna give us a few squares. Good thing about scrappies is you can use the littlest bits to make them and still have heaps of fabric left. So I'm just gonna rip these ends off if I can. I need more muscles. Didn't need enough wheat bix this morning. It's so cool. The last three days I've gone outside, we have a lot of yellow wing honey eaters um, that hang around here, like a big family of them that are always playing in the garden, which is really sweet. I might even keep the threads. And um, the other day I was in the garden and I turned around and there were two of them, only about a metre, a metre and a half away from me on the fence, just watching me. So I chatted to them for a while and they just stayed there, which was really cool. So the next day I go out to hang up some washing and there they are on the fence again. So, And then today um, one came down as soon as I went out, which is lovely. 
I love wildlife and nature. I um, had a um, willy wagtail that used to come down all the time when I was in the backyard. And, he, and when I was sitting inside, he used to run past the window nearly every day. <laughs> and you'd hear him chattering. And whenever I'd hear him chattering, I'd go out and say hello to him. And it was so cool. Then one day I heard him chattering and I was too lazy to go out. And the next day I went out and I found him dead on the ground outside my window and I felt so bad. <laughs> but yeah, so it's nice to have some new friends out there. I like the flowers on this actually. What I might do, I reckon the flowers would make a nice top embellishment for a scrappy. Just debating whether I want to use my pinking shears for anything. I mean, I bought them. I might as well use them. It's a bit crooked. And it doesn't have to be straight, they're scrappy, isn't that? But anyway, you know me. This one's got a beautiful flower on it as well. So does this one. Um, so we've got some blue squares here. I should be making a whole heap of squares and then just going for it, but I'm really bad at mess making like that. that on the crooked edge there. I haven't made scrappies for ages. Um, I've got this beautiful one, but it doesn't really go, not that it has to. And we've got some white. And we've got pink. It's like flannelette this is and it feels beautiful. I'll rough up the edges a bit. What do we want it on this big one? I also have laces which we can add. I've got my scrap laces here. Maybe we can work with some of them. We can have a look and see what we've got in here as well, just to add something a bit nice. Oh, I've got some dark blue. I should probably use my off cuts rather than the real fancy ones. I really like this. Love the colours there. I'm not hundred percent about the um, stuff I've done around here, so let's just yeah, I like that better. Could even offset it and put a button or something on afterwards. So I'm going to leave that one like that for now. Now I've made more of a mess. Let's put my laces over there. Um, and then we've got the cottons too, but they might be a bit much on that one. I'm kind of not liking this on there now because I like the blue and the white so much. I've got a darker blue flower. Don't worry, we'll be here forever doing one scrappy. Yeah, he's pretty big. It's a bit neat around the edges. It's a bit better. Yeah, 
kind of like him, so I'll put him to the side. We'll finish them all up once I have got them together. Little bits of stuff everywhere already. Okay, so let's work with some of this beautiful stuff. Don't want to use too much of this because I do have plans for it in the future. Seersucker. I didn't know what it was called and I asked people and they said, this is Seersucker. It's such a weird name that. I have heard it before and seen people show it, but it just doesn't stick in my head, I think, because it just seems such a weird name. Now, this is hard too. I always want the patterns showing but it might not happen, so we'll see. Oh, I do have the pink. I really should um, want to get doing some slow stitching and all these little bits would be really nice stitched together and that so I might do something like that after now that's not big enough but I'm thinking of cutting this one down a bit some lace to put under there. Got this piece. I think we need something unless we put it to the side or something. Got some more flowers in here too. They're a bit fancy. We've got some smaller ones are pretty cute. And I've got some pink lace. Never sure which way these are meant to go. But we might end up doing something like that with that one. So I'm just gonna put them across so they're not in the way. Okay, now I reckon I want to try a retro one. I've never made retro stuff before, but I'm always harping on about making retro journals in the future. So let's try a retro scrappy. So I'll start with some of this yellow. We'll do some mass making with all of this sometime. But I'm so busy with projects at the moment, I thought I'd just do a couple tonight to show you guys what I plan to do with some of the fabric. and to feel, fulfill my responsibility of using some of my stuff that I buy each week. <laughs> so, <laughs> instead of putting it away and forgetting that I have it. <laughs> Although, you know, if you've been watching me, you probably see um, most of my projects I end up using something that I've got from the secondhand shops anyway. And usually always the... Um, you know, secondhand discarded books and that as well. Oh, that didn't rip too good. It wants to rip one way and not the other. I think it's because it's sort of ribbed. So I have to chop that. Isn't that funky? <laughs> Weird stuff. Might cut another piece of that. A bit bigger.
and a smaller piece of the yellow to go on top. Even these little bits, I'll keep them. I've got projects in mind for all that sort of stuff sometime. Now, do we want fluff on that one? Don't know. Now, some blue would look okay. If I've got much in the way of laces. Hang on, look at that. Oh, that's nice. He might have to go on there. Although I'm so, um, I hoard these things so much because I'm always so worried that I'm not going to have one when I want one for a specific project. Because he's pretty and I have no idea where he came from. But you know what? I do like him on that, so I think he's going to stay on there. I think I have many bright coloured laces in my lace bin. Got some of this stuff. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Kind of like it too. So that should be in the top bit. I've got my um, scrappy lace bin sorted, so there's sort of bigger bits and longer pieces in the bottom and then the tiny little bits in the top. They are so gross, <laughs> but I love them. Uh, yeah, so I might put these two to the side because we've got to put them all together after. Now I do have another retro fabric here, the orange. I really hate this sort of thing too, um, fashion-wise. The clothes, oh, I hate them. <laughs> but I love them in journals for some reason. Yeah, it's very weird. It is a nostalgia, I suppose. I mean, I was born in the early 70s, so I probably grew up seeing all the ladies wearing this sort of thing. <laughs> Either I might do two again, one with it underneath and one with it sort of on top a bit. Okay, now it would go with pink, it would look gross, but it would go and it would also go with the yellow a bit. I do have orange fabric somewhere, so I'll probably um, save some of this to use with some of the orange fabric I've got. I've got an off cut of some orange here. Just cut a bit of this off. Might add that somewhere. Okay, so what are we thinking? I'm thinking that this is way big for starters. nice on there like that, doesn't it? Not sure about that yet. And then we're going to do pink, aren't we? The 
knock on the door today and it was a delivery from the lovely Auntie Vera, Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft. So I can't wait to bust into that and have a bit of a play. Not sure how I want this one. Not really liking it. Um, maybe we should go another yellow. That pink's just not doing it for me. something like that could have the thread on there now I'm just towing into my lace bin again oh that's gross which makes it good so I'm gonna add something on top of some of these um, like a button or something like that when I put them together that's why I'm sort of just leaving them as are now I've got the lace I like the lace. I don't know if I like it with the thread. I might just chop a bit off. I'm just going to put these to the side like that and I'll decide when I put them together. So that's one, two, three, six. So that's not too bad. Might do a pinkish one. little bit of pink there. I think I want a big bit of pink. It's not really big but it'll do. a little piece on there. love the feel of this flannelette. Feels like really good quality sheet. Not like the ones on my bed. Now obviously I would have to have a lot of white and cream and that in my lace. I've got them bigger flowers. Oh that's cute. I might just do that. Saves you sitting there watching me go hmm for ages. And we've got this pink. It's got a lot of pink. these fibres. I can trim them off if they annoy me too much. The longer bits do sometimes. Let's put this one to the side. Bits sticking to me everywhere. Now I'm just seeing if I've got any little bits that I want to stick on top in here. That's not really. Oh this is nice. Every time I come into my lace bin, ooh, this is nice, ooh, this is nice. Oh, that's really cute too. That's what I love about um, la these laces and that is that just, and doing scrappies, a little bit goes such a long way. I kind of like that in some weird way, so I'll put that to the side as well. 
All right, I think that's going to do, or else I'm going to be here all night, which I wouldn't mind making these all night, but the other thing I had in my mind, because now we've made a whole lot of scraps. I have so many blank tags that I tend to, well, I haven't been using them for anything much, so. So another great way I've seen that people use their tags, uh, their scrap fabrics is just to um, put them onto some tags. So let's do something like that. Why not? Be as messy or particular as you like. And I've seen people with these little ones just like do one, one bit of fabric on there. Sort of just like that. I might make it a little bit shorter. Oh, that's pretty cute, really. So I'll put that one to the side. Why not make two retro ones? What do we want? Decisions, decisions. We could have one of these beautiful. But he could go on. Oh, I don't know. Decisions. Let's stick to. Keep changing my mind here. I like this fabric. Yeah, I love that. He needs a piece of that, I think. side there so that would look pretty cute too it looks like I've got three of them which is good I thought actually I've got four I thought I had two it's <laughs> all right because what I might try is that with pinking shears I think that would look cool because that almost look like little stamps then they're not pinking shears what happens when you have too many scissors around the place. Be, be better if I could cut semi-straight. Probably should have ironed the fabric after I washed it. I hate ironing, so I never do. All right, so it's gonna be a tad long and a tad wide. So I'll cut this end off a little bit. And then try and straighten it up. I like it better rustic but we can still do that one anyway 
And shall we do one more of those little ones? Um, I kind of like this checkered material. too so these ones I might sew it depends how my sewing machine goes yeah but I'm going to sew them on I reckon so I'll just put them all together ready and then we'll concentrate on doing something with these these are the ones that would be nice if I slow stitched them but I don't have the time tonight so I might try that another time See, that fits on there all right. And I'm thinking it might be best if I tack these down with a bit of glue so that they stay and then um, sew around them. So I'll grab my glue. I mean, these are great. You could do any sort of shape or leftover piece, you know. You can stick any size on there and that'd look awesome, I reckon. I'm just going to stick this piece on or else I'll be here forever. So fussy. I like the look of the rough edges on this project. Yeah, because we haven't stuck it down completely, we can see what things look like underneath in that as well. All right, I'm just gonna do this. 100% happy with it, but I never am, so. <laughs> and I need to try and get used to just slapping stuff down rather than worrying about it all so much. I 
do with something up there, so I might check the lace bin for that where to put it on the floor. Look at them sort of pieces here. kind of like it there, so look got a nice big glue bubble. <laughs> I'm just going to put a tad of this on if I can. that we can always stick something on there afterwards so so that's that one I'll put that to the side with the others to sew one more now I'd like some of this on I do like the big rose on there some pink for that. It's almost the right size. that so I'm thinking lace pin have this which I cut off a doily it's kind of nice but I'd have to go Just do something like that. So let's get this tacked down.
how my sewing machine is going to go getting through all this, but I'll try anything once. So that's that one. So I'm going to sew all my tags and I'll show you how I put my scrappies together. Okay, I'm back. I've sewed my tags, which I will show you at the end of this video. And now it's time to sew my scrappies together. Now, some of them I'll probably have to tack down with some glue or sew sort of around them a bit but usually what I do with my scrappies if I just pile them up and all the pieces are together and I put a button on I usually just sew the button on and that holds all the pieces together don't know how I'll go at holding these threads if I bunch them up a bit I want the button offset there so I've got some embroidery thread here. I thought that would look nice. I've got some yellow embroidery thread for this scrappy. Put that down. So what I'm going to do is go under up through the hole in the button and not my finger, hopefully. I don't do this often. And leave myself quite a nice tail there. And then go back down the other hole. That looks pretty good. I might do it once more. I've, done, I've got two threads of the embroidery thread here. And then back down again. Just like that. So you could, if you wanted, go the other way, then tie a bow up here, but I don't want to tie a bow up there. So, so I've left my threads out the back. So this is the way I'd usually do it. It's nice, quick and easy. And then you chop and leave yourself some room so that what you can do is tie it off. Find this a bit easier than tying a knot at the end of my thread and then tie and then doing a knot with the needle. And then I just do a double knot. And that holds it pretty well. And in the end, it's going to be stuck onto something anyway. So that will secure it even further. So that's how I usually make my scrappies. And it looks like the button has caught that thread all right, which is nice. And then you can just cut your tails off. So that's pretty neat. I like that one. I thought I'd offset the button. And then we've got this one now. I don't think... My thread's going to show up a bit because it's not a perfect colour. But my idea with this one is just to go around the inside of the circle here to um, hold this on. And so I'll do a similar thing. I will leave a bit of thread hanging out so that we can tie it off at the end. Because I'll finish around about the same area anyway. And I'm just going to make sure I catch a couple of threads of the flower. Now I'll start there. needle is a bit thick really but that's all right and then I'll go around a little bit more I'm just catching a couple of threads of the flower again I mean these are scrappies for a reason they're meant to look scrappy so I'm just going to do it about four times and that should hold it nicely Now 
what I'm, I'm just going to go under a thread at the back here and that will just bring it closer to the other tail that I want to tie this one off to. And we're not going to see that out there. You can hardly notice the stitches so that's good. So I'll take my needle off at this point and do my double knot. I had fun going through all my buttons looking for some um, retro ones. I decided I didn't want to put buttons on all of them. So I went through this jar. I like using plastic for my buttons because if I put them in glass, I'll drop them. <laughs> they're in plastic, I don't drop them, but if, in, if they are in glass, I probably would. You know, Murphy's Law and all that. Thread off there. So that's those two. So they look pretty neat. So then I've got a whole lot more here to do. So I'm going to go off camera and sew these all together and then I will come back and show you the results of all the scrappies as well as the tags. Okay, now I've made a total mess of my desk. I have finished sewing my clusters together and I'll show you what they have turned out like. So this is the first one. Now the lace at the back is quite flimsy, so it just flops down. But as I said, these are to decorate pages and envelopes, tags, anything like that. So once they're stuck down, they'll sit nicely. So this one, I just sewed around the inside of the flower to hold it all together. Don't know whether you can see the white stitches there and I just tied it off at the end. And then we have this one. Now this one I was going to sew through this little embellishment here, but my needle didn't want to fit through the holes. So what I did was just sewed along the top of the lace piece. So just across there and that held it all together. And then I stuck the embellishment on. This one again, I sewed around the inside part of the flower. Very cute. And then with this one, I used white thread and I did sew around this square and that held the whole lot together and then I sewed the button on separately. So I just hand stitched all of that, obviously messy hand stitch. So with that one, I sewed the button on with the yellow cotton and that held it together. I think it got too stuck together there. So with this one, I used the glue to tack down these pieces and the lace and then I sewed the button on separately. With this one, sewed around the inside of the flower. And that's held it all quite nicely. And then with the last one, which you saw me do, I just sewed the button and that held it all together. So they're all my scrappies. So I love them, they're really colourful and pretty and such a great way to use those little fabric bits and pieces that we all end up with. And then the tags. So first we have our little tiny tags and I just sewed around. Real messy, My so I'm not a good sewer keeper. So I have to say that every time so that you don't, you know, <laughs> complain about my sewing. Um, so yeah. But I love them, they're so, so easy, so cute. And I have heaps of these little tags and I don't end up doing anything with them because I always seem to punch out my own or whatever tags. So, so I thought it'd be nice to use them up and that's a great way of doing it. Of course you can add embellishments to them as well. That's the one with the flannelette shirt. The flannelette shirt I think is the wrong way around but I actually like that, the textural look of that one better, that side. And you can see on the back, just the sewing. So my machine didn't have any trouble going through these. It's a bit of a trooper, my old Janome. Had it forever and I've hardly used it on fabric at all, so it's gone through the paper well. But they're so sweet. And they'll be really cool just to slip in some little pockets. And then we've got our bigger tags. Now these I sewed all over the place, really. <laughs> Um, yeah, I sewed sort of around, but I, I tried to sew around each piece a bit so they all stayed on. So this one I sewed the whole way around. I sewed just one line across the lace piece. 
And then because I sewed around this, I didn't have to hold every side of the backing piece on, so I just sewed down that side and then across the top and down of this one. And of course, it's a big mess on the back, but you could cover that with some paper or something or just leave it. I'll probably just leave it. I mean, if you wanted to, you could sew your bits onto backing fabric and then stick that on or just try and sew your pieces together as they are and then stick them on so you don't have the sewing through the tag. So I'll probably experiment more with that in the future, but I don't mind that, especially if you're going to put it in a patchwork journal or sewing journal or something like that. And then this is the other one. I love how that's turned out. And again, I went all the way around this piece and then around that side of that piece and that held the lace and the pink on. And I did sew a line down this lace to hold it on. So that's the messy back of that one. So I think they turned out really cute. I love them. I'm gonna make heaps more when I've got time. And they, you know, they didn't really take long at all to make any of this. So you could um, pump out a whole heap in a hurry if you were so inclined. So I hope you enjoyed that. And thanks, Beth, for the idea. You made me pull my finger out and actually make something with stuff that I got that week. <laughs> so I will try and continue with that when I'm able. So take care, everyone. Have fun, and I'll see you soon. Bye.